Well, it's not just South Africa. Emerging economies at large are bracing themselves for the Federal Reserve's rate hike. And for a look at what is at stake, I'm joined by John Herman, the director of U.S. Rate Strategies at Mitsubishi UFJ Securities. John, always a pleasure. Thank you. It's great to be back. John, what are your expectations for this liftoff, the first rate hike happening this week? Okay, so I think I think markets have really uh, toned down their expectations, and we're, our view is in line with that. We think it's more of a December call, and uh, not really this week. Uh, although there's a small chance that it will be this week. Markets are pricing it in about 30 percent, right? About just a, just a little bit below 30 percent. How much of the delay potentially? has been impacted by what's going on in China, the volatility in the stock markets and China's economy slowing down its growth. What we've noticed uh, this year is uh, that U.S. exports have slowed uh, dramatically over the last uh, 9 to 12 months. That's the first thing. And our manufacturing activity is also slowing. So both of those uh, signs were uh, most of us are attributing to the slower growth in emerging markets in China on the one hand and also to the correction in American fracking industry. All right, let, let's talk about the emerging yes. markets because um, they're going to be severely impacted. Yes. John, the Fed has been saying that it's going to be raising rates since <laughs> when? It's been over a year now? It's been over a year. So this should not come as any surprise. It's, it should not. So. Are emerging markets prepared for this? I think, you know, when you look at a market, from a market breakdown, you would, you would think that a lot is priced in. The currencies have weakened substantially. The credit spreads, as we call them in fixed income, credit spreads have really widened. The stock markets have uh, lost value. So they all done this in preparation of the Fed. But I think there's also, as we were discussing, uh, you know, commodities bubble that's also unwinding, that's also reinforced both, both things. Well, why is this going to hit emerging markets so much? Is it because their debt is dollar denominated, interest rates go up, dollar gets stronger, they owe a lot more money? Is this basically what it comes down to? I, th I think that's part of it. Uh, the other thing is that what it's also doing is, uh, in general, once we start building in a series of Fed rate hikes, you're taking the largest country in the world, 22% uh, of world GDP, and you're saying basically that you're going to sort of slow it down a little bit. And I, that will affect the exports that come from the emerging markets to the U.S. and it will slow their, slow their economy. So unfortunately, which, that's the problem. Which markets in particular are I think, I in think, the most perilous state, if you I will? I think the ones, uh, you know, for me, uh, when I look at it, uh, there are a lot of countries who, uh, whose their primary export market is China. Mm -hmm. And for example, Brazil uh, and Australia and the like. And those are the ones that are slowing very aggressively now. And I think and, well, what they're hoping for, believe it or not, is they're hoping that should the Fed uh, hike, then actually their currencies may weaken indirectly with that, and that may help bolster their exports. So it's kind of a, a weird situation. But I think in general, the basic idea is we've had a slowing of growth worldwide. And uh, the Fed, you know, if it slows the U.S. economy, it's just going to reinforce okay, that. Okay, so, so the dollar's strong against Dollar a basket strong. of currencies, particularly against emerging market Absolutely. currencies. It continues to strengthen and emerging market currencies weaken. You're saying that is a potential bonus for them because it makes them more competitive in the export market. What, you know, believe it or not, uh, uh, places like uh, the, uh, the Central Bank of New Zealand and Australia are actually kind of hoping for a Fed move because they'd like to see their, do their dollars weaker and, and potentially help, uh, help them export more. But the emerging markets that have companies and their economies owning, owing debt that is dollar denominated, Denominate. What does it mean? What does it mean for the actual people living in those countries? Are they going to be impacted, and, and how so? I think uh, I think they're already becoming impacted, you know, because we've had uh, in the last 12 months or so, we've had an unwind uh, of this commodity bubble, and it's affected many countries around the world. And that, and, you know, in Brazil, for example, we see people protesting in the street and the like. So I, you know, there are several countries. Even, even more developed countries, like, for example, Canada, that's on the borderline of a recession. So we have lots of countries, developed and, under, and, and less developed, that are experiencing the slowdown. And it's, occurring, and it's occurring at the same time, and it's reinforcing things. Very quickly, yep. who's going to be hit the hardest? Uh, I think uh, for my countries, 
I think are going to be Brazil and um, potentially Southeast Asia. All right. We'll see what happens we'll see this what week. Happens. You're saying a December rate hike we'll is, is, is next exciting. on the call. We'll hold you to that. Thanks so much, John Herman, Director of Thank U.S. You, rate Michelle. Strategies at Mitsubishi UFJ Security.